Hey guys, what's up? Adam here, and today I'm going to be showing you a bit of an in-depth look at video editing in Photoshop CS6. As you guys may know, video editing is kind of a thing I love to do, and so learning that Photoshop supports video editing was something I was interested in. Now granted, when I was initially playing around, I couldn't really figure much out, but I've learned a bit better at it, so... First thing you obviously want to do is import your clips. Um, I'm going to start with another T3i clip. Let's go with a different one than we used the last time. Well, yeah, let's use this one. Again in the park, blah blah blah. Now, something you will notice. It has video groups, and that's kind of like your layers for Photoshop and things like that. Um, and so you can add different tracks like in Sony Vegas or other video editors. You just do a new video group for your track and then you can overlay different things. So let's say I want to add in some text. I open up the text tool, get out a cool little font that I want to use. Hell if I know what I'm going to choose here. Let's go with the funky metal one. Get a white text and we're gonna add some stroke to that in a minute. And then just be like lol. This our text L O L O L even though that is really small, let's make it much bigger. Put it here. Hit enter. Now we have some text, and as you scroll through, the text is there. Let's drag that kind of in the middle bit. Then we're gonna right click the text layer over here in the layers menu. Go to blending options, and you have your usual Photoshop thing. So I can sit here and add my stroke, which has apparently been moved. That way it sticks out a bit from the video. And as the video plays, this our text, LOLOL. And it continues playing. Now, something I like to do now with my videos is add in a lower third, which is a graphic that pops up here. Now, generally, I have a... What do you call it? I have a pre-rendered video one. But for the sake of this, we are... Actually, yeah. We're going to just do a static image of one for right now. So... I'm going to open up a lower third image that I want to import and for the sake of this I'm going to use a Christmas themed one because it's kind of what I have, I don't know. We're gonna pull up the sand, nope, that's, nope. Let's go with the lower tree here. Yeah, that'll work. And then add in some text on this one. Park Adventures. Make that a little bit bigger, 250, nope, 150, that'll work for the sake of this, just kind of throw it on there. We're doing this very cheesy at the moment, nothing to be too concerned with. Yep, what just happened? Put that, there we go. Okay, now we control A, edit copy merged if you're copying from a Photoshop document. If you just have an image you can simply just copy the image or drag it straight onto your track. And then we're just going to paste it in here. Now obviously this needs a bit of resizing as it's quite large and unfitting for my video. We're just gonna have it take up the side here. And there we go, for the sake of this, I have a little lower third. This our text, lol, lol. Now, let's say I wanted to do a common thing with gameplay videos is color correction and brightness and contrast and things like that. Well, being a photo editor, Photoshop is quite good at that kind of thing. So, over here in your adjustments menu, just like with editing photos, make sure you select your video track. Then you can edit your brightness and contrast. Turn that down just a bit. Turn that up just a bit. Edit your hue saturation, turn up saturation colors, edit hue a bit. Uh, let me turn my brightness, I didn't change any brightness. Maybe it's not changing, hang on. Yeah, it's not saving these settings. What's up with that? Oh, yes it is, okay. My bad. You got out. There we go. And then, what else we got here? We got your levels and your curves, so you can mess with that. That's actually a... And then, notice every time you select it, it 
adds in a track effect on your video group so if you accidentally do something you can simply just like hide the effect here and that's what I'm gonna do with the brightness and contrast and unit saturation real quick let's go to curves and go to RGB turn them all down a bit turn red down a bit turn green down a bit and you're left with that kind of blue haze here Looks really nice for video, things like that. Looks really nice. Alright. So that's pretty much it. And then once you're finished with your track, you can simply go to File, Save As. No. That doesn't do it. My apologies. It's File, Export, Render Video. That would make more sense. And then you get to choose your video types. Um, it only has a couple codecs at the moment. They may or may not add support for more. Again, I mean, they have After Effects, so they don't really need a separate video editor, but you know. Um, so just Adobe Media Encoder, H.264 is really good. You, you can sit here and choose quality options. I believe, let me go back here, I believe it was a 720p clip. Where is it at? Yeah, right here. Yeah, 720p, so... Under your presets, HD 27p or 720p 29.97. Actually, let's go with YouTube. It has a YouTube option, so you can choose YouTube, or if you're exporting for like just playback on the computer, you can choose that one. I'm gonna go with that one for right now. Document size 1280 by 720. You can set your own frame size, frame rates, things like that. You want it progressive, obviously. Aspect ratio one. Range all frames, and that's about it. Tell it where to go. I'm going to save it to just my videos folder since it's separate. Select a name and whatever, hit render, and it will start exporting your video. And that's it, then you have a video ready to go. And that is how you edit videos with Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, let me know, and please leave comments in the comment section below. Have a great day.